These are the best vacuum sealer containers for your kitchen. First, the king of kings. Food Saver. This is actually the most popular brand with the most reviews. And it has this marinade mode that you can put your food there with the marinades and it will get into the food faster. So you don't have to wait like one day for the food to actually taste good. You can get two containers for around $35 or 45 pounds. But the actual vacuum is sold separately, which is not great. And it costs $70 to 120 pounds. The link with the cheapest price is in the caption. Lasting Freshness Vacuum Container. This one has a manual pump, which is not as great, but apparently I've read that it can work with the food saver vacuum. So you might buy the vacuum from them and the containers from this company. The great thing is that there are around $80, but you get 50,000 containers. Click in the link and you will see, it's unbelievable how many. They're not made from glass, but it's BPA authorized plastic, so it's not bad for you. The Pomodoro containers. What I love about this one is it's actually made from a company that only makes this product and a few more. Many other containers are made from companies that do many kitchen products. This means that Pomodoro can put all the resources into the vacuum sealer, which is gonna make it quality. The price is great. It's around $80 or 150 pounds, and you get five containers with the pump. This time you get it. Link, you know where it is. Vacuum food storage, no, storage, storage combo. This one is interesting because it has a patented new style of vacuum. You can see it's wider, and because of this, apparently the pump power is much better. The more pump power, the less air is gonna be inside, and the longer the fur, fur, the fruit, the food is going to be. It's $60 with three containers and the vacuum. The link, pa 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 pa, there. I have done a crazy research to find the best food containers for you. I'm talking hours. And I found that the most important things you should look at are durability, suction power, if it's easy to clean, how fresh the food stays, how easy they are to store in the fridge, and the cooking usage. The food saver containers are made with glass and it's very, very resistant. So even if you drop it, it turns not to break. There's an issue though. The cover is made of a plastic that I have seen in many reviews that it tends to break. It could even break when you vacuum it. But looking into it more, I think it's just people who used it wrong. So you should be fine with it. The suction power of the vacuum is extremely strong because it's from an electric one. This will make your food stay fresh longer than if you used a weak one or a manual one. The problem, like I mentioned, is that it's sold separately. They're quite tricky with that. Come on, man, put them together. They're very easy to clean because they are dishwasher friendly and the actual glass container doesn't have a lot of parts. So you can just and done. However, the plastic cover does have some bits that you're gonna have to get into there. But normally the cover is not really gonna touch the food, so you're gonna be all right. The food stays very fresh, way longer than if you use a normal container. There is a reason why this is the most popular brand with the best reviews. It's very easy to store because they're stackable. You can put it on top of each other and you can also put them in the freezer. Keep in mind that some containers, you cannot do this. Added to that, you can even put it in the oven and in the microwave. Make sure to not put the plastic lid or it will completely melt and the food will be quite bad, I think. For durability, we need to keep in mind that they're made of plastic, so straight away it's not as good as glass. But they've made sure that this plastic doesn't break easily. It's really quite strong, even if you drop it. But in the long term, it could start to get some smell or some scratches on it. But remember, this container is quite cheap, so price, quality, it's pretty good. With the suction power, we're dealing with a manual pump, so it's never gonna be as good as a manual one. The great thing is that you don't have to charge it or the electrics won't break, it's just and done. In terms of cleaning them, because you get so many, I hope that you can just use them and leave them in the sink for days. I would prefer to get less to actually force me to clean them, but hey, it's me. The dishwasher friendly and this style of plastic that I mentioned is quite easy to clean compared to the normal one where it bends a lot. They've mentioned that the food can stay up to five times more than with a normal container. Like I mentioned, you just have to make sure that the vacuum seal you do it with a manual pump is actually strong. A great thing is that when you put it in the freezer, this vacuum seal will avoid freezer burns, which is quite gross to eat a piece of chicken with it. It's, ah, I don't like it. To store them, they are stackable. You get a lot. They're from different sizes, so you're going to be playing some Tetris in your fridge. Hopefully they all fit. If they don't, you can put them in the freezer. You can do that. They are microwave friendly, but very important, not oven friendly. Do not try it. <laughs> These are also made of plastic, but it's that kind of plastic that doesn't bend. It's very strong one. So it's quite similar to glass. The good thing is that with this one, if you drop it, there's less possibility of it shattering like with glass. But in the long term, I personally think glass is better. 
The suction power is great. You get your electric pump that is very, very strong and the sturdy plastic container with the cup makes sure that there's no slippage of air inside. They're very easy to clean. You can put it in your dishwasher and you can easily remove the lid with the silicon cup to make sure that there's not food inside. One thing I saw here is that this type of plastic doesn't absorb many smells like others do. It's probably because it's a special type of plastic. So that means that you can rely on these containers longer without smelling of Chinese takeaway. The food lasts way longer. They mentioned up to five times, so I'm pretty sure it's true. If not, they will just completely disappear, I guess. Bankruptcy. To store them, like all of them, they're stackable. They're not going to be moving one on top of the other, and you can also put them in the freezer. Unlike the last one, they are microwave friendly, so that's fine, but not in the oven. Any plastic ones, you will never put in the oven. I think that's obvious. <laughs> These are also made of plastic, so they could last longer if you're a person that drops things all the time, but this plastic does not have the characteristic that Pomodoro did with the smell. So you're gonna have to get in more in the cleaning to make sure that you don't get the smell over time. They do have the electric suction power, which provides an amazing seal inside. However, I did see some reviews where people mentioned it's better to reseal it after some days if you're gonna keep food longer. Keep in mind that this is probably a good thing to do with any food container you buy. Just do it. If some days pass, okay. do it again. Like others, it's also dishwasher friendly and actually the cup doesn't have too many ins and outs there. So you can clean it quite easily. I hate when you have to get in and oh, it's so long. Their food stays very, very fresh because like I mentioned, they do have the electric pump and they even mentioned that you can put crispy food. So try it, make some KFC crispy chicken or buy it, put it in, and let's see. If the food can stay crispy, I'm really sure that any other food will absolutely last longer. They are easily stackable, so you know, Tetris time, and freezer friendly. And you know the rule, if it's plastic, microwave friendly, oven, not friendly. Now, these are the most common questions that I saw when people want to buy a vacuum seal container. How long does it extend the shell life, shell, of the food compared to just a normal tupper container. Tupper. So the main thing here is that the containers and the pump are taking away the air inside. Air has particles and bacteria that when you close it gets trapped and can go into your food. Nothing bad is gonna happen to you, but it is not gonna last as long. On average, I've seen that they've advertised that it can last up to five times, but I will go a little bit less than that and probably it could last double or three times. I've tested it and I saw that if you put cooked food there, it really lasts much longer maybe even five times. But if you put raw chicken or raw pork, probably a little bit less. And a good trick that I saw is that if you actually marinate, if you put things like citrus or oil inside the raw protein or pork or whatever, it lasts longer. Keep in mind the marinades in the past, they were actually made to keep food longer rather than even flavor. <whistles> Smart chef trick. Does vacuum sealed food taste better? In my opinion, I would say that in terms of flavor, there's no difference. The main thing here is that food is gonna last longer or that you're gonna get nice food faster. Because like I mentioned, some containers have a marinate mode, which means you're gonna put your things, vacuum seal it, and you're gonna have the nice food before. What is better, a vacuum sealed container or a vacuum sealed bag? In my opinion, I think they both do the same thing. However, with bags, it's a bit difficult if you, it's a bit difficult if you want to put sauces or like I love doing every week, ragu sauce. Imagine opening it, taking the spoon in and out, ah, oh, no. So I like a container. Also in the fridge, they're stackable. So I think if I open a fridge and I saw loads of vacuum sealed bags in there with different sauces, I'll be like, nah, I'm not hungry anymore, thanks. So I think that containers are the real deal. What types of food can actually go in a vacuum container? This one's easy, any food you want. But keep in mind that, like I mentioned before, when you buy one, you need to sort of learn, learn, learn which foods stay longer than others. So probably fresh fruit, if you put just a banana inside, it will last quite a long time. But if you open the banana, not as much. Same with the cooked meat or not cooked and so on. So just when you buy it, test it a little bit and you're gonna become an expert of what to put, what not to put and how long to do it for. All the links with the best current prices are on the description. Just go, boom, choose your product, boom, and you will be sent to Amazon. Let's go.